all right. Well, hey everybody, Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got uh, I got a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about. It's in my pocket right now. We're gonna be talking about this RDA right here. This comes from Geek Vape. This is the Loop RDA. Got a pretty interestingly shaped deck. It's got like this, they call it a W deck. I call it an A-frame deck because it kind of looks like an A-frame house to me. It's a real interesting deck that's not super, super easy to build on. There's a little bit of a learning curve involved with it, and there's a little bit of an adjustment you'll need to make as far as wicking it as well. But in order to get to know this atomizer just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close, as we always do. That's right, quick short up closey time, Go. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, let's take a quick look at this Loop RDA top to bottom. Let's take a look at the deck first. It's got a it's got a pretty it's got a pretty interesting deck right here, don't you think? It's got this interesting kind of A-frame house shape looking thing and then big sort of airflow foils that kind of come over the side here. These actually aid quite a bit in the cutting down of leaking when you blay your juice through the middle. Taking a look at that 510 pin, yeah, that's a nice protruding static insulated 510 pin. I myself am going to be running this on a hybrid mech mod. It does also come with a squonk pin as well. It's not a real revolutionary squonking system. It's just basically going to flood the deck with juice. You do have this real sort of deep, deep juice well in here. It almost functions like a real, real tiny RDTA. So the screws for the deck are on the side and you insert your coils this way and screw them in from the side, which when you're installing your coils, the screwing these in can sometimes twist your coils, especially if you're using something a little bit wider, like some Fuse Claptons, some Multicore Fuse Claptons, or some Multicore Aliens or something like that. Something like Frame Staples as well, you'd probably have an issue with when you're screwing down these screws it's going to twist your leads. It's just going to twist your whole coil up. It takes a little bit of TLC and maintenance to kind of get these straight again, get these evenly spaced again, get them glowing evenly. But once you work through that little bit of a learning curve, you can get some dope coils easily installed in here and glowing evenly. Now taking a look at that top cap, it does have the notches built into it as well, and those coincide with little tabs right here, little notches on the deck. There's the tabs on the inside notches on the deck, and that is to ensure that your airflow is always lined up as well as assist in taking the deck off of your mod. You don't have to rely on, you know, just the O-rings to get your atomizer off of your mod. AFC right here does both single coil configurations and slides around to do dual coil configurations. This AFC isn't removable in any way, and it's branded. It says loop, although mine's upside down, and that's fine. The AFC is nice and smooth and glidey. It stays where I want it to stay, but if I'm being real honest, I just rock it full open 100% of the time. And it's 810 compatible on there as well, so I like to use my favorite DHD 810 nub drip tips. And that's really all there is to this cap. It doesn't screw apart. It doesn't pull apart in any way. It's just one solid piece. Sometimes simpler is better. So yeah, what I'm going to do right now is just uh, wick it up real quick. The Loop RDA requires uh, a little bit more cotton than you think it does. Your coils are set up up pretty high up here on this little A-frame deck, and the juice well goes all the way down to the bottom. So you kind of need some longer wicks to reach, and to at least go back behind the edge of this. You don't necessarily want cotton like bunched up down here in the well, but you want your cotton to at least come down low enough to get inside that well. This is just a strip of Kogendo Japanese cotton, and this kind of is the exact length that you need to cover. You can trim a little bit off the sides, but you're going to use one strip for each coil. And the only reason I'm making a note of that is because for a lot of other RDAs, I'll use one strip for two coils, but the juice well is so deep in the loop RDA that you're going to want to use one strip per coil. At least that's what I've found works the best. So yeah, let's wick this thing up. Yeah, 
that right there is kind of what you're going for. I left my wicks a little bit longer, tucked them down in there. Very super easy, very effortless. You just kind of, you know, like I did, you just press them down in there. Your wicks stay down in there. Awesome. You can bleh your juice through the top like a champ with this. In fact, the little A-frame, little point that comes up in the middle, if you hit that right in the middle, it's going to help disperse your juice evenly, very evenly to your coils and your wicks. Yeah, look at that hot bleh action. So I'm just going to finish juicing up these wicks. I would consider those wicks successfully moistened and when I press the button, Oh yes, the vapors happen. And then all you have to do is take your top cap, line up your airflow with that inner airflow spot right there. You're gonna hear it, you're gonna feel it like click into place. You're gonna feel those little tabs grab so that when I unscrew it, I can unscrew the whole atomizer just from the top here, which I think is just great. And then you got your little AFC adjustment right here. I'm gonna leave it full open. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this thing. Dude, just been having a, a really great vape experience with this Loop RDA. I've got this loaded up with the very last of my Deep Cuts Dragon Shake, and it tastes delicious in this atomizer. I really enjoy the airflow on this atomizer. I just leave it full open, and it's like almost the perfect, perfect airflow for me. It's nice and smooth, it's swooshy, it almost does that sponge thing. And my, my longtime viewers will know about the sponge thing. I have this thing with airflow where sometimes it feels like you're breathing through a sponge, like there's just a little bit of resistance. And that kind of like, uh, that kind of spongy airflow to me is is a huge positive. I really enjoy that, it, it enhances my vaping experience experience. I like that the top cap just locks onto the base, instantly lines up your airflow, so it's going to hit those like weird angled baffles on the inside, and the way that the airflow is placed and the way that the deck is shaped, your airflow goes in right at your coils and underneath your coils. And it just creates an overall really flavorful sort of vaping clouds bro clouds type of vaping experience. Awesome, awesome. One of the things I really do like about this atomizer is they kept it simple where they needed to keep it simple. The deck itself, it's a new style deck. It's like a W-shaped deck like you saw. Interesting way to install your leads, interesting way to install your wicks. You need to leave those wicks a little bit longer to get down into that juice well. The inside of this is a little bit I don't know, I don't want to say complicated, but it's a, it's a little bit complicated. It's a little bit unique in my opinion, but the rest of it, they kept very simple. This top cap is just one piece top cap, which means there's no threading in here. There's no anything that's gonna sort of leak juice out of here. If this was like a two piece design and you had to unscrew this and then you could remove the AFC and you could do all this stuff, I have a feeling that it would be a lot more leaky and a lot more messy than it is, but because they kept this top cap to just one single simple piece, really cuts down on the fiddliness of this atomizer, really cuts down on the leakiness of this atomizer. Uh, a few things I'm not sure if I mentioned yet. It's 24 millimeters in diameter and it looks just very cool on this Dreamer mech right here. 810 compatible on the top as well. Made out of 304 stainless steel. All the O-rings, all of the screws, all of the fit and finish on this just feels very nice. I feel like Geek Vape is doing a real good job right now with toppers, not just RDAs, but RTAs as well. They seem to have some of the best construction fit and finish uh, that I that I've come across, honestly, in a lot of toppers. Then, of course, I have to mention my favorite thing. I love that you can just bleh your juice right through the middle. You hit it right down the center, straight shot. It's going to hit that A-frame. It's going to go all over your coils. It's going to go all over your wicks. And you have to not even worry about getting a dry hit uh, with this. I mean, you, you would have to worry about getting a dry hit if your wicks were actually dry. I'm just saying that when you bleh, when you bleh your juice, it's gonna go everywhere you need it to go. I, I don't know why I said it that way. 
overall, wow, just a, a really great vape experience from this atomizer. I have a feeling that this atomizer is going to be one of the atomizers that I really genuinely want to keep around. I like vaping from this atomizer. I like the aesthetics of it for the most part. I wish it was just a little bit shorter overall. It's kind of a tall atomizer. I wish it was just uh, just a little bit shorter. And I understand because of the deck, because of the way that the deck is constructed and designed and because it's got that deep, deep juice well in there that this is probably really the shortest they could have made it. So I get it, but in a perfect world, this would just be a little bit shorter. Otherwise, dude, I've been having uh, just a great time with this atomizer. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna purchase this atomizer? Nah, eh, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from 30 to 35 bucks, which is very vape budget hand friendly. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. There's a little bit of a learning curve with building and wicking this. It's not steep, it's real easy to figure out. And if you're looking for an atomizer that honestly is gonna give you a very bleh friendly, just bang and vape experience, the loop, the loop could be what you're looking for. I genuinely enjoy all of the high quality atomizers that have been coming out. Competition creates the best products and we've had some really good atomizers coming out lately. And I am absolutely adding the loop to the list of atomizers that I just truly enjoy. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll throw some links down in the description to where you can check out the loop RDA if you're interested, as well as all of my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram in case you just can't get enough of me. <laughs> but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.